birch bark is a really good fire starter. Lots of oils in it. trying out a new camera today. Got me a Sony Handycam. Maybe we'll do a review just on the camera too. But today I thought I'd do a uh, five year anniversary of being on YouTube. I think we're at like 26,000 subscribers. Real big shout out to all you guys. I really appreciate all the support you guys give me. That's one of the main reasons I'm out here doing it. A lot for the guys that can't get out anymore. Hoping I'm kind of bringing you there with me. Today I thought I'd cook us up a nice bushcraft breakfast. First we're going to get us some nice embers going. And uh, we'll start preparing the food. main reason I got this camera is I got an LCD screen that I can spin around and see what I'm actually filming and uh, also it's got a really good zoom and also wind noise reduction built right in hang in there and we'll uh, start preparing the food Trying to get me some good ambers. Uh, it's getting warm out here, guys. Had to take the fleece off. Definitely no jacket needed at all. Uh, while them coals are getting ready, I'm going to go ahead and prepare some of the food today. I brought an avo avocado today. Avocado, avocado, however you want to pronounce it. We're going to split it long ways. It's one of my favorite fruit. Good for you too. Let's see if we can get this in. Usually it'll just spin, get that right out of there, but you know how it is. Your own camera never works. That's what it was supposed to do. <laughs> and we get a spoon and scoop some of this out. do is scoop a little bit of this out, make a little room for an egg. I brought some eggs along since it is a breakfast. And I also brought some nice venison meat, some venison steaks. I'm gonna let that go to what I did was brought a couple of eggs. What I like to do is kind of separate them whites from the yolk itself. Seems like a lot of effort, but you know what? A lot of my wild cooking is just for fun. It's not always survival. I'm ready to go with a little spices. 